Hello guys, what's up? In this tutorial, I want to discuss optimizations you can do on your Docker images. In the past videos, we dockerized our Django app. And now, we want to squeeze those images with all point distributions and the multi-stage build technique. First, we will check our previous images size. Then we're going to use Alpine distribution and rebuild our images. After building the images, we will check their new size. Then we are going to use the multi-stage technique and create our images by using two stages. After that, we will see how much volume we gain. Okay, now let's start the tutorial. This was the project that we left in the previous lessons. We dockerized it and now we want to improve it. First, let me change docker compose file so that we can build images locally. Now, let's build images with our origin docker file and see how much size they have. You can see that our APIs work correctly. Okay, now let me check our images sizes with using docker images command. Currently, our images have about 1.1 gigabyte size. So let's start our first technique. In this technique, we will use Alpine distribution as our base images. This distribution is designed to be small, simple, and secure. So let's go to the docker file and change our base image. Then, because we change our OS, we need to change our installation command. I will install only packages that our Django app needs. I also will change the pip install command so that it can get packages from its cache if it had them. Now let's rebuild our images. Now let me check the new size. As you can see, we gained about 400 megabytes just by changing the base image to Alpine distribution. You can also see our previous APIs work correctly and nothing got broken. Now let's start our advanced technique. I'm going to change our docker file and create two stages in it. In the first stage, we will install all packages we need to run our Django app.
in the second stage we will copy binary files from the first stage into the second stage these binary files are usually placed in a specific path but sometimes we need also install manually some packages these packages usually related to the OS not Python pip packages okay now let me rebuild the image After fixing some typos, eventually we built our image. So let's check how much we gained. It's about 1 gigabyte. Also, let's check our APIs. As you can see, our APIs work correctly. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please give a thumb up to it. I will create more videos in the next days. So please hit the subscribe to get new videos.